are you taking this action? Yes, um, yesterday was a uh, 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 Thursday was 10th uh, 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 October, and every year the coalition of civil society, NGOs, uh, trade unions put together an action to draw the attention of the world to the continuous use of the, the death penalty. Uh, some countries have taken steps to abolish the death penalty. Unfortunately, in Ghana, we continue to sentence people to death. So these actions that we are taking is just to draw the government attention to abolish the death penalty. Uh, we want the death penalty to be abolished because the right to life is a fundamental right. And you know, life is only one. You don't have a spare to use and the, follow, the following day you can go for the other one. No, it's just one. And research has shown that the death penalty, there are, there are schools of thought. People think that the death penalty scared crime. Look at Ghana. The, book, the, the death penalty continues to be in the book. But crime rate is, is still increasing. Look, our robbers went to steal. One of them was shot in front of the others. Okay, they went back home. When the, the, the environment uh, gone down a bit, they went back to steal. So if killing can scare people, I'm not sure people will go the following day to go, to go and, 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 and rob. In any case, we want to redefine our philosophy of punishment. When we say punishment, what do we mean? In our local balance, in our local language, for example, in Chi, when they say uh, punishment, what does it mean? They say, yeah, you are so and I bet you are so for offending the laws. Chiwasu doesn't mean killing. It is to tell you that you are not listening. You are not paying attention to the rules and regulations of society. Therefore, you are given the opportunity to correct your ways and reform. Unfortunately, when you kill the person, you don't give the person that opportunity to reform and be useful to society. There are people that I can use, for example, Jima, for example, was on death row for murder. He was pardoned by the president, and Jima is now contributing to society, speaking to the youth about crime, how he ended up in jail, how he got up, how he was almost killed being on the death row. So these testimonies are the ones we want to share with Ghana, to say that let's take the death penalty out of our books. And you see, when you see these African countries like Togo, Benin, Burkina Faso and so, when it comes to human rights, rule of law, uh, good governance, uh, protection of life and human rights, Ghana is far beyond this country. But they have taken steps to abolish the death penalty. And, 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 and evidence from those countries is not showing that since they abolish the death penalty, crime has a rate has increased. So we are saying that Ghana is a pair setter when it comes to democracy and rule of law. So Ghana should take that lead and abolish the death penalty. This year's team is children and seen victims of the death penalty. You know, this segment of society have been neglected. We have never paid attention to children who has, have survived the death of their parents, either through murder or through execution or sentence to death. We have never paid attention to these children. What they go through when it is announced that your father is going to be killed. You know, children believe that when you offend the law, you must be punished. Therefore, when their parents fall out of the law, they think that the parent must be punished. But what they cannot understand is for the state, that the state which is supposed to be protecting them who intentionally uh, plan to kill their parents. When it happens like that, they develop this kind of anger and dislike for the state. They believe that the state can kill. And so the children will hate the state and hate uh, the state and its agencies. For example, the legislature, the, the law enforcement agencies, and the society as a whole. So this year, we are drawing people's attention to the fact that children also go through a lot of trauma. Some of them are unable to stay in class and learn because of the trauma they go through. We don't even know the statistics, how many children are affected by the death penalty in this country, because we don't know. And we don't even know uh, civil society organizations that are working in this area. All this, uh, uh, we have neglected these children. But the SDG is saying that we shouldn't leave anybody 
behind. That's why we are calling on Ghana to, to redirect our attention to how children feel when it comes to the death penalty.